Grammar Bites, Lesson 37. Today we will review sentence jobs by creating a chart. In the Grammar Bites series, we watch all the videos, so we learn all the rules of English. Let's start with a quick review. I've been talking about writing sentences, and every sentence has a job. The names of these sentence jobs are statement, question, command, and exclamation. To help us remember what we've learned so far, I made this chart. If you're a more advanced learner, you can pause the video and create your own chart. Let's take a look at the different names at the top of the row. Starting on the left, we have name, what the sentence does, punctuation at the end of the sentence, and sentence examples. Let's work together to complete the chart with information. Now, if you don't want my help, just stop the video and do it yourself. Under name, we're going to list the different names of sentence jobs. There are four. Do you remember what they are? Statement. Question. Command. exclamation. So remember, these are the four different names of different sentence jobs. Let's go to the next column. What the sentence does. Do you remember what each of these sentence jobs does? Let's start with a statement. What does a statement do? A statement tells us something. Next one, question. What does a question do? A question asks us something. Next one, command. What does a command do? A command tells us to do something. Last one, exclamation. What does an exclamation do? An exclamation expresses surprise or feeling. Let's move on to the next column, punctuation at the end of the sentence. Let's start with the first row, statement. What punctuation do we put at the end of a statement? A period. Next row, question. What punctuation do we use at the end of a question? We use a question mark. Next row, command. What punctuation do we use at the end of a command? We use a period or an exclamation mark. Last row, exclamation. What punctuation do we use at the end of an exclamation? We use an exclamation mark. Okay, let's finish our chart with some sentence examples. Now, I'm giving you just a few examples. There are many examples that you could put on this chart. I've written a sentence for you. What kind of job does this sentence do? Hi. This sentence is an exclamation. My name is Shona. Where should I put this sentence? This sentence is a statement so it goes in the top row. What's your name? Where should we put this sentence? This sentence is a question. We'll put it in the second row. And finally, tell me your last name. It's a command. It goes in the third row. If you like, you can think up many more sentence examples and put them in this chart. What did we learn today? Grammar Bite 37 was a review of sentence jobs. Next time, I'll give you a quiz so that we can check if you understand everything I'm teaching you. Thanks for learning with me. We'll see you next time. New videos in the Grammar Bite series will be posted on Thursdays and Sundays. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. You can also find my videos for free on my website www.mycanadianenglish.com